This is PSPICE tutorial series. In this video, we will learn how to convert a buffer circuit or any circuit you have created on ORCAT capture to a four port sub circuit model by editing the circuits netlist. So let's get started. In the first step, we will run Cadence ORCAT capture from Cadence program menu. Select the license and click over OK button. Once the ORCAT capture is ready, we are going to open the previously created buffer circuit project. To do that, we'll go to file, open, go to project, locate the file where you have saved the buffer circuit. So in our case, it is located here. This project you can download using the link given in the description and select buffer underscore circuit dot opj file and click over open button. Then we will open the schematic. To do that, we'll go to buffer circuit dot dsn file and double click over this buffer circuit schematic. So as you can see, as of now, we have this schematic and here we are going to change couple of things. For example, first we are going to remove this voltage source. We'll just remove it. We'll remove all the probes. Next, we are going to remove these load capacitor and load register. After that, we are going to remove these plus 15 and minus 15 volt nets. Then we can remove these supplies and we are going to replace those with ports. Now we are going to add ports in this. To do that, we'll click over place ports. And here we have to place some input and some output ports. So first we'll select port left, click over OK. And this is our input port. To rotate it, we'll press R on our keyboard. So this is our input. We'll place it here right click end mode now we are going to change the name of our input port to do that we'll double click over here and we'll make it this will be input next we are going to change the name of these ports so we'll double click here this will be input we were okay this will be vss this will be vcc and then we have to add one output port then again we'll go to port and this time we'll select output port to rotate it, press R on your keyboard, right click end mode, and this will be out. So here we have replaced voltage source with input port, load components with output port, and VCC and VE supply with VCC and VSS ports. In the next step, we are going to create the netlist and edit the netlist file. To do that, we'll go to PSPICE tab, and from here, we have to click over create netlist. Once the netlist file has been created, we'll go to the location where we have saved this project. And here you'll find this schematic or whatever the schematic name you are using, .net file. We are going to open this on Notepad++. Here we go. And here we are going to change couple of things to make it a sub-circuit model. To do that, first we are going to remove all these external lines. And here we are going to enter sub circuit space name of the project which is buffer circuit in our case and add all the ports that we have created in our design which will be input next we will enter vcc vss and output next we are going to add the end file of this buffer circuit to do that we'll again go to the last line of this model and type dot ends the name of the project all right so we have edited our netlist and next we are going to save this file so that's it now our netlist is ready to use you can assign it to any sub circuit block and that will be four port sub circuit now before closing this for the people who are interested to know how they can use this sub circuit file i am attaching a step by step guide which you can find in the link shared in the description of this video and in case of any question let me know in the comment section for more tutorials visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channel